Hello and welcome to this video on adding and subtracting numbers in standard form. So let's take this example question here. We've got these two numbers in standard form and we're adding them together. Now one way you could do it is you could just first convert each of the numbers to normal numbers first, add the normal numbers together and then convert it back to standard form. So we could do that. So 3 times 10 to the 4, that's 3 with 4 zeros on the end plus, well this is 2 with 3 zeros on the end because we're timesing by 10 3 times and then we just add them together. So 30,000 plus 2,000 is clearly 32,000 and then we can convert that back to standard form. So we need a number between 1 and 10 because that's how standard form works so we'd use 3.2 using the digits on the front but as a number between 1 and 10 and then how many times were times by 10? Well the decimal point is here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 times, so it's 10 to the power of 4. But there is an alternative way of doing it which keeps these numbers in standard form. And basically, whichever the two has the higher power, you keep it like this, keep this greater power. And then the one with the lower power, you change this so that this has the same power as the higher power. So. Let's keep this as it is. We have 3 times 10 to the 4. But we want to make sure that this is 10 to the 4. Now, we made that 10 times bigger to get to 10 to the 4. So to compensate, I have to make that 10 times smaller. So 2 divided by 10 is 0 0.2. Now, because it's the same power, we've got 3 lots of 10 to the 4. And we're adding 0 0.2 lots of 10 to the 4. So we can just do... 3 plus 0.2 lots of 10 to the 4. So that would just be 3 times 2 times 10 to the 4. And we've immediately got the correct answer without having to convert these into normal numbers. So let's do it the second one using that cleverer method. So we've got 4.2 times 10 to the 5 plus 9 times 10 to the 4. We search for the higher power. Apologies for the pun. So this one has the higher power, so this is the one that we want to change. So it's going to be 4.2 times 10 to the 5, that stays as it is because it's the higher power, plus, well that needs to become 10 to the 5, so it matches this, the higher power. So that becomes 10 times bigger, that has become 10 times smaller, so it's 0 0.9. And then we can just do 4.2 plus 0 0.9, which is 5.1 lots of 10 to the 5 and we are done. Let's do the third one. We've got a subtraction here which works in obviously exactly the same way. So we've got 3.5 times 10 to the 20 minus 2 times 10 to the 19 and if you were trying to write these out explicitly you'd have to write out a lot of digits. So this is the higher power. It has a higher power than that one so we're going to keep that as it is And this is the one we're going to change. So we want 10 to the power of 20, change it to the higher power. So if that got 10 times bigger, that has to get 10 times smaller to compensate. We've got 0 0.2. And now we can just do 3.5 minus 0 0.2, which is 3.3, times 10 to the 20. And the very last one, we've got 7.2 times 10 to the 52. I've purposely made the powers very large here plus 8 times 10 to the power of 50. Slightly harder this one. So this is the higher power, that's a higher power than that, so it's going to be the same for this one. But this, we have to change the power by 2, so it's 10 to the power of 52 to match this one. Now we increase the power by 2, so we're timesing by 2 more 10s, i.e. we're making it 100 times bigger, so that we have to make 100 times smaller, which will be 0 0.08. But now these match, so we can just add these, so 7.2 plus 0 0.08 is going to be 7.28, and it's going to be times 10 to the 52. And that is it.